Metrachan saw it! My mother-in-law, henceforth referred to as my mother, is a very nice person. My grandmother-in-law, henceforth referred to as grandma, who gave birth to my mother, was also a very nice person. My parents were very hard on me from a young age. They amassed a large gambling debt, yet never really worked much. In the end, they forced me. Go work at a hostess! Bar and earn money! To work at a hostess club. Since I had no choice, I spent my days working at the hostess club to earn money to pay off my parents' debt. I want to hurry up and earn enough to pay off the debt and quit this place. A table three, please! Okay. One day, a man accompanying his boss came to the club. So you work for a Tory trading company? It's amazing! No, it's not that impressive. This could be good. I'm gonna go for it! It's how I've been thinking recently, but... It must have been so hard for you. You've done so well. <laughs> he is very pure and innocent and sympathetic. He listened to my story and cried for me. I look at him and in my heart, I truly feel that bad people are going to take advantage of him. I'm worried. After that, he asked me to start dating. His sincerity touched my heart and I accepted. Will you marry me? A few months later, he asked me to marry him. Thank you. I'm really happy. But I can't. Even though I refused, he wouldn't give up. And more than anything, I loved him very much. Wait, are you going to do that here? So in the end, I accepted. I will. I want to introduce you to my parents. Oh, okay. I was hesitant, but decided to go to his parents' house. But... There is no way his parents will approve of this marriage. They're definitely going to throw me out. This is all just a dream. Today just happens to be the day I wake up and it ends. I thought as we headed to his parents' house. Hello and welcome. It's nice to meet you. Please come in. Come in. It's nice to meet you. Surprisingly, we were greeted with a warm smile. Huh? Grandma came out from the back of the house and was very hospitable. Do they know what I do for work? While I was trying to collect my bearings, Mother explained. We know what you do for work, but none of that matters. You are the person my son chose, and actually are trying to talk with you. I see that you are fun and a very nice person. We don't know what happened to you, but we look to the future. What happened in the past isn't important. Her kind words made me break down in tears. After that, I told mother about everything. My parents' debt, and I was forced to start working at the hostess club to pay it back. Mother listened to all of it, and quietly nodded and said, I'd like to meet your parents. On a later date, Did you bring the payment? I'm taking this girl! If you try anything from here on out, I'll sue you! Mother, please stop! We can't accept all this! It's fine. It's for my lovely daughter-in-law. I can just earn more money. Thanks to my mother, I was able to cut tie with my parents. They were also able to have a wedding. With this distance, we won't be a burden to each other, right? She showed in his apartment close by. Mother didn't treat me like a daughter-in-law, but like her own daughter. With her, my gentle husband and grandma, I was truly content. The other day, Grandma passed away. I truly felt that she was my own grandmother. Grandma! Grandma! And cried hard through the wake. A man at the wake saw me and said, Is that how you weaseled your way in here? You did well for yourself, you dirty woman. And spewed insults at me. Honestly, I was really irritated, but with Grandma right in front of me, I decided to swallow my pride and ignore him. Thank you for ignoring him. That man is my father. He was married to Grandma, but they got divorced a long time ago, which makes him my father-in-law. The family didn't want him to come to the funeral. No one contacted him, but somehow he heard about it and came. Then the family was gathered together to discuss how to divide Grandma's assets. She didn't really have many assets. She never wrote a formal will, but kept everything handwritten in a notebook. Mother read everything out loud. And that's all. Huh? 
I don't get anything? What a drag. There was no way anyone could remain level-headed hearing that. That jerk! It was all I could do to stop my husband from punching his daylights out. Lastly, Mother looked at me and said, She left you something. What? Hey! Why does she get something and I don't get anything? And I know, you work in a hostess club, right? <coughs> Who told him that? Whoever told him that, get over here! I was able to control my husband, who was about to start swinging fist. Mother continued, She's left you her secret fortune. Come with me. I followed Mother silently. We arrived in the kitchen. It's this, and pointed to a bucket filled with pickles. Now having understood everything, Grandma! I hugged the bucket to me and started sobbing. Is this money? My father-in-law pushed me out of the way and opened the lid of the bucket. Huh? These are just pickles! Of course. The bucket was filled with Nukazuke pickled vegetables. Grandma probably made them when she was feeling well. Grandma asked me to look after the rice bran, so that's why the pickles are still good. Mother. This is perfect for a dirty woman like you. What the heck are you doing? You, you never thought that grandma's and your wife's pickles were delicious? You don't understand what I feel. You're the dirty one. I chased my father-in-law around and out the front door crying. I ran out barefoot after him. I understand how you feel, but you have to treat Grandma's Nukazuki with more care. But I bet he will have a stinky and embarrassing ride home on the train. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. Wow, something smells good. Those looked great. Oh, it's quite rare for someone to think that in these times. When I pass on, will you take care of the Nukazuki? Of course. I want to continue to make the same Nukazuki that you do. But please live for a long time, okay? Grandma remembered such an insignificant conversation that she and I shared. I was very happy. Grandma, I'm sorry. Mother said the same thing, but I really shouldn't have done that with Grandma's precious Nukazuki. I'll reflect on my actions. ぬか漬けですか。昔給食のメニューとしてぬか漬けが入っていたことがあって、結局それは食べられなかったですね。今も食わず嫌いでぬか漬けは食べたことはないんですけれど。ああ、私顔にぬか漬けを投げつけられて